Hi, I'm Kelsey Lewis. Did you know that millions of people turn in every day of the winter to watch NCAA men's college basketball and cheer on their favorite teams? There are several prestigious programs, and according to ESPN, Kansas University is at the top of that list. Kansas is very well respected because of the history and traditions the program holds. The inventor of the game of basketball, James Nay Smith, brought basketball to KU in 1898 when he became their first coach. Ironically, Nay Smith has been the only coach in KU's history to have a losing record. He ended his coaching career with 55 wins and 60 losses over nine seasons. Former player for Nay Smith, Bog Allen, then became Kansas University's next coach in 1907. Allen coached at KU for 39 seasons, achieving a record of 590 wins and 219 losses with the national title in 1952. Following Allen's retirement, Jayhawks hired former player and assistant to the program, Dick Harp, as head coach in 1957. Harp led Kansas to a 121 to 82 record with two conference titles and two NCAA national or tourney berths. Ted Owens then took over for Harp in 1964 and would go on to lead a 348 to 128 record during his coaching career with six conference titles. Larry Brown then took over as head coach in 1983 after coaching in the NBA. KU got off to the worst start in 1988, going 12 and 8 before snapping their 55 game record winning streak against Kansas State University. KU would go on to lose two more home games in the regular season versus Duke and Oklahoma. However, behind the high powered scoring of Danny Manning, the Jayhawks would go on to win every game following that to reach a record of 21 and 11. The Hawks again reached the national tourney, this time as a sixth seed. Ironically, KU would face those three teams that gave them their home losses that season. The Jayhawks defeated Kansas State University in the Elite Eight, Duke in the Final Four, and then Oklahoma in the National Championship. The team was then given the title, Danny and the Miracles. Larry Brown ended at KU with a record of 135 and 44. Following Brown's departure, Kansas hired North Carolina native Roy Williams as head coach Williams compiled a record of 418 and 101, and every season under the lead of Williams, the team reached the postseason NCAA National Tournament. From 1994 to 1998, the Jayhawks won 62 consecutive home games in at, Allen, at Allen Fieldhouse, and according to KUAthletics.com, that's the longest streak in NCAA at that time. Under Williams, KU reached the NCAA National Championship two times and then both times took second place. Williams' 1996-97 team was said to be the best team in college basketball history, featuring NBA stars Paul Pierce, Jacques Vaughn, Rafe LaFrance, and Scott Pollard, even though they were beat out of the NCAA tournament in the Sweet 16. Bill Self then took over as head coach in 2003 and is presently the coach for the Jayhawks. He currently has a record of 237 and 46, and he also has the best percentage of any Hawks coach. 2007-2008 was the time of glory for the Jayhawks as they once again took the reign as college basketball's finest. The Jayhawks performed their most memorable shot in Kansas basketball history as Mario Chalmers hit the shot heard around the world with 3.6 seconds left on the clock to send the game into overtime. The Jayhawks took, took over in overtime instantly and climbed their way to a national spotlight. Kansas' arena, Allen Fieldhouse, is named after Fog Allen, and the actual playing surface is named after James Nay Smith, both in, all, in honor of two former coaches who played magnificent roles in starting KU's amazing men's basketball program. According to Rivals.com, no college venue in the country has, is as intimidating as Allen Fieldhouse. From the ear-piercing shrieks of 16,300 fans, to the goosebump-inducing pregame video, to the retired jerseys of some of, some of, the, of some of college basketball's greatest players hanging in the rafters, opponents experience obstacles on the court that they have never faced before. 
Kansas University is arguably the best place to play basketball in the country because of its history, traditions, and fan support.